Um, we're gonna release all of the fish that we, the brook trout that we grew. I think it's gonna be a fun day. This is a continuation of a project we started earlier this year called our flyology project, where we learned uh, a kind of ecology along with uh, the fly fishing techniques, how to tie flies. And then part of this project, we raised brook trout. So we did the trout in the classroom program through Trout Unlimited. This is from a grant that we got from the Virginia Department of uh, Wildlife. So um, we started raising the fish around October. So now that it's time to release them, uh, we actually have, we think around a hundred fish that we were able to like raise that all made it, um, which is more than we expected. And then just tip it until the water starts to flow out. We released them, I, we poured the bucket in and some of them did not want to leave because it's probably a lot colder than the, the environment that they're used to because they're used to a nice tank with the exact perfect conditions. So the way we just poured them right in, they're probably shocked from going to a place where they're fed, they have the perfect current and it's just everything they need to release that into the wild. But it's definitely good because we need them in the water. The way it's helping is today we're putting however many fish they have in those buckets into the river with the hope that they, uh, ho hopefully most of them will survive and grow to be mature fish that the fishermen can come up here and, and catch with their fly rod. Uh, and then we would really like long term to establish a, a what we call a holdover population where the fish survive the winter and they spawn and they make more fish so we don't have to keep stocking all the time. We need to first off know how to keep the environment clean and to maybe teach others about keeping the environment clean. This river has needs more brook trout because in this part of the river they're, at, they're in bad condition and they're a keystone species. If they go the environment will collapse. I learned a lot about the conditions that they live in um, because, I mean, we needed to raise them, so we needed to make it really close to where they lived. We also learned about how um, how the rivers that they're living in are, like, impacted. I think it's the coolest part is, like, having these opportunities as a teacher is that, like, I'm learning as we go. We're figuring out things as we go. This is my first time doing the project. I'm learning about fly fishing. I'm learning how to raise brook trout, and it's kind of like when we troubleshoot, it's not just like I tell them that it's something I've known, but it's like we look it up together and we're like figure it out, and I think just that learning that part of it or like how to figure things out that we don't actually know the answer to um, is, is a really great experience for all of us. I guess that's kind of what the whole school is about is doing, learning in different ways.